Hello Aquarius, here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the first week of May, okay? I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart uh, by John Holland this week and I'm going to be using the uh, Angel Star Day by Darren Virtue, okay? So let's go for it, Aquarius. I'm going to put it down so you can see the reading, yeah? Okay, perfect. So, my dear friends, what's going on with uh, Aquarius in love for the first week of May? What's going on with Aquarius in love for the first week of May? What's going on with Aquarius in love the first week of May? Aquarius in love. The first week of May. What's going on? Okay, and second one. My be friends, what's going on with Aquarius in love for the first week of May? What's going on with Aquarius in love for the first week of May? I hope you're enjoying the beautiful summer uh, weather. It's beautiful, warm in here. What's going on with Aquarius in love the first week of May? Okay, so Aquarius, can you see? Yes, perfect. So you have a uh, coming together, which is two of cups. Rest and reconsider, which is nine of wands. The simply love, six of cups. Ten of fire, ten of sword, uh, ten of wands. Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands, and the Page of Earth, Page of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius, let's go for it. So you could be dealing with uh, some Earth sign, maybe younger Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, let me see. So, I uh, it seems Aquarius, it there is a, some kind of um, struggle, some kind of a burden that is a uh, uh, worrying you now within in the relationship, whether you are. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, whether you are like trying to deal with something which is too much for you at the moment, so you need to rest for uh, gaining a more energy. Uh, could be something to do with the love, with the relationship that you're in. Could something something uh, has happened that was way too much for you to uh, to absorb or uh, accept maybe uh, your loved one uh, made you set, uh, set or done something that you didn't expect was too much to handle and now you need to think and re excuse me reconsider how to deal with that that's for some of you. Maybe it has to do something with the children or with a past 
maybe for some of you I have this concrete feeling coming to me that maybe you've been dealing with somebody maybe it's just at the beginning or you are dating someone but they uh, didn't tell you maybe they have a children from a first marriage from previous relationship and you didn't expect that you've been a you've been hit by the information and it was too much for you to handle so now you're trying to kind of uh sit and rest with concert think think whether you you can handle that situation that some that you might ha have to have as kids from a somebody else's previous relationship that could be for some of you okay or you've met the children and you like them but it's still kind of too much information or too much to handle so that's why you need to reconsider everything to start a new okay to start this beautiful fresh slide for others of you though could mean that you would like to start something with somebody but you still haven't um, healed from your past relationship maybe somebody reappeared from past relationship or maybe it's still in your heart and you are struggling yes to get over them to heal from them maybe you have a child from them from a, the previous relationship and you need to um, reintroduce them to your new love maybe that's what you're planning or you're trying to think how to do that what to do to make my child reintroduce to my new lovers so that they accept them for this of you yeah definitely whatever the case may be it's something really really hard to cope with yeah something which need a lot of effort it's as so much effort that it bends you and you feel like so much stress you may have so much stress with that it makes you sick actually literally sick maybe your immune system is giving up as well and you're becoming sick let's say some cold or flu or whatever because of that because you have too much trouble with your loved one or with situation that involves your loved one and involves your past or their past could involve child earth sign child <laughs> What else? Um, yeah, it feels really that whether it's you or them, there's still need to get over the past relationship. It still affects the present. Okay, so be careful to that. Because whatever you're experiencing now with the, some fresh love, you you may care for them they may care for you and it would be shame because it could be nice bright beginning but it needs really bright beginning but it reads needs really to close first the chapter first chapter then to go to the next yeah Let's see what the burden is. I want to clarify the Ten of Fire, Ten of Wands. Please give me clarification cards for Ten of Wands, Ten of Fire. What is it about? What is this Ten of Fire about? What is this issue about? Okay. Two cards fell off. Which is Knight of Swords and Devil. Okay. 
Yeah, it seems like the burden could be some somebody involved, which could be the air sign as well, not air sign, another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or it could be you, your energy, Aquarius, and it could mean that you are stuck in somewhere. You are stuck. You are in toxic relationship. Could be that past toxicity still affecting you now, which you need to get over to be able to fully uh, dive into these new energies. So you need to deal with that toxic past for you to be able to move on. Okay, that's what I feel, Aquarius. Aquarius, that was your reading. Okay, I hope it resonated. If it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up. I subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. And comment in uh, my comments down below. Give me some feedback so that I know. Okay, and I hope to see you next week. Okay, have a beautiful day, beautiful week. Good luck and see you next week. Bye. Love to you. Bye bye.